Hello everyone. Sorry if I'm speaking quiet. It's like 4 a.m. So I have to be very quiet. I don't know if anyone can hear me. But I'm going to be doing another collection video. It's a lot, let's just say it's a lot bigger than the than the previous ones I did. It's probably bigger than the previous ones combined. And Space Station 77, if you're watching this, you're really going to like this one. Yeah. Although, you you all have read the title of the video already, so you already know what it is. But first, here's Sparky. Sparky. Yes, I know this isn't this isn't part of the collection. I just like showing you Sparky. He's been in all my collection videos. But the collection I'm going to show you today is Octonauts. I had this idea. Let's see if it works. Maybe he can hold hold that somehow. Oh well, I tried. We'll, we'll just leave it there. Also, if you can hear things running, there's like a machine running and there's a fan running because it's really hot in here, so if you hear that, sorry about that. Usually I have my whole collection. Uh, with my collection videos, usually I have everything in this on, on the side of my setup, but since, but since this collection is so big, I have everything behind me instead. So I'll have to pause every now and then to get stuff. Alright, let's begin. I just remembered, if you saw recently, I did a drawing video of Sparky. And this is the same table that I drew the picture on, and there's like a, uh, there's like a pencil thing there. Yeah, I guess I should have mentioned that the other pencils broke too, but I only remember the blue one breaking. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna show you is, um, the the DVDs. You've seen these in, you've seen some of these in my DVD collection video. Oops, watch out for Sparky. Uh, yeah, this, this one was in my DVD collection video, I think. I can't remember, it's been a while since I did that. Yeah, this one has season four episodes. You can only get season four on on Netflix. And I do have Netflix because you've seen some of my word party stuff, so you know I have Netflix. And this is one of my favorite DVDs because it's got a lot of good episodes. I definitely know for a fact that this was in a uh, uh, this was in my DVD collection video. Yeah, this has some really good episodes. It's got the the Mariana Trench Adventure, it's got the Over Under Adventure. Let's see. Here's this one. I don't act, I don't think I remember where I got this one. Yeah, that has some good episodes in it. Um, oh, I don't, I, I don't think I showed these in a video yet. Uh, yeah, I got, oh, it just got really quiet. Uh, I just got, I have this DVD here. And, uh, yeah, see, it's got the Amazon Adventure episode. Uh, hold on. Let me just get the next DVD ready. Okay, here's the next one. The, yeah, this one is the Deep Sea Mission DVD. It's got this cool sticker here. Well, that's not a sticker. It's just part of the package. That was a sticker, though. It has the cool nighttime Octonauts logo. I like when they did that. 
You would think this DVD has the Mariana Trench adventure episode, but actually, it doesn't. But it's got the, uh, Gulper Eel episode. That's a good one. Let's see, this, this I found at a Dollar Tree. Just like that Noonbori DVD, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out my, uh, DVD collection video. Yeah, this one's actually kind of different looking. And it also says Treehouse on it. I don't have the... Where I'm from, I don't have the Treehouse channel. So I don't actually know how that got to Dollar Tree. And then here is the uh, Crocodiles and Crabs DVD. Ah yes, the Fiddler Crab episode. I have not seen that episode in a long time. But I remember watching that episode and being very excited for Season 2 of Octonauts. Just like I got excited for Season 2 of My Little Pony. And then, here's the very first DVD I ever got. It's Meet the Octonauts. It has a different box than it's supposed to be. I, sw I switched out two DVD boxes. This box actually, yeah, the box that, I, that I'm using here, it's actually supposed to be for the Candyland DVD that I own, so the Candyland DVD has the Octonauts box, if you get what I'm saying. And these are the episodes it has. And, and this episode here taught me how to pronounce that name. I also should have I also should have pointed out that all the boxes almost all the boxes have barnacles on the side. Oh okay, I need to be careful, I keep hitting Sparky. Alright, let's see, I'm gonna pick out the next thing now. Alright, this was seen uh, in a in my computer studio tour video. I uh yeah, I'm gonna move Sparky because this is like um, because I need room for this. <clears throat> I have stuffed toys of two of my most favorite characters, Dashie and Shellington. You can't see them that well. Here, let me just. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, these are in my computer studio. A video. I also have toys of uh, stuffed toys of Barnacles, Quasi, and Peso, but unfortunately I don't know where they're at. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I wanted, I remember seeing that there was a stuffed toy of Dashie, but I didn't want one until they made one of Shellington, and they did, and I remember how happy I was to see that they made one. Yeah, I ordered I got these online. They came all the way from China. See, these are their tags. You'll see. And I definitely know for a fact the bottom part says Explore, Rescue, Protect. So these are all the characters they have. But I just wanted stuffed toys of just Jashi and Shellington. But I still have a Barnacles, Quasi, and Peso, though. Yeah. Although the the stuffed toys of Barnacles, Quasi, and Peso, they're... They, I got those out of Walmart, and they're kind of different looking and more smaller. Oops, I keep putting my hand in the way. Sorry about that. Hey, where's Sparky? Oh, there he is. Alright, I've got some good stuff here. I got... I got lots and lots of Octonaut books. Yeah. 
I don't remember exactly how I got all these Octonaut books, but I know some of them were gifts from my grandparents, so they sent me some of these books. Let's see, which one should I show you first? Here's, here's a, a book version of the Octonauts and the Whale Shark. That's one of the first two episodes of the show. And it's got all this stuff in here. I do have this book though, which you'll see in a minute. I don't have that book. And I don't have this one either, but that one looks kind of interesting. Yeah, so here is the uh yeah, here's the decorator crab book. It looks almost the same as the other one. Yeah, this was the very first Octonaut episode ever, I think. I was going to do a podcast comparing the first episodes of my main four shows, but I, I didn't really feel up to it, so I kind of changed my mind on it. But I did have another Octonaut-related podcast in mind, so be sure to look out for that. Let's see, I got some more books here. Yeah. Yeah, I believe the ones with the cover like that with the little bubble thing. I think I got all those at Walmart. Yeah. So um Yeah, it's, oh yeah, I've got meant to show you that this is the uh, Colossal Squid one. Also an episode I haven't seen in a while. I thought they had like pages introducing all the characters. Well, it's got this. You know, I just realized I said I got all some of the books from Walmart, but then I remembered that some of them are from Barnes and Nobles. I don't remember which ones though. Yeah, here is the, uh, the Octonauts in the Undersea Eruption. It's actually the uh, Octonauts in the Blobfish Brothers episode. They just changed the title for some reason. I never showed what the back of the books look like. Oh, that's right, this one. I, that's right, I forgot I had this one. I don't know where that went. Yeah, here's the Octonauts and the Adeli Penguins a book. I said episode, but it's a book. If I'm correct, I think the Octonaut books are published by the same per people who did the Atomic Betty books, but I don't remember. I'll have to look back on that. And here's the Octonauts and the Electric Torpedo Rays. That's a, another episode I haven't seen in a while. That's not Octonauts. Oh, that's a good one here. This is the uh, Quasi's Pirate Book of Monsters. I, I really like this book. Oops. Yeah, but basically this book has all the stories that Quasi has told throughout all the episodes. It's like really cool. I don't know how well you can see everything. Yeah, I, w I have to say that's one of my favorite books. Yeah, see look, there's see there's the decorated crab and the whale shark and it looks different. And yeah, I, I I have this one but I don't remember where that's at. I think it's in my closet probably.
and here's this one, the uh, the octonauts and the white tip shark. I remember it wasn't called that in the TV show. I think it was like, oh great, what was it? I think it was like the the pilot fish or something. Maybe it says in the book somewhere. Oh, that's the page I was talking about. See, see, I knew there was a page that introduces all the characters. Okay, you already know this, but I'm going to tell you, that's my favorite one right there. But you never know, there could be some, there could be new, new people watching my channel for the first time and don't know who all my favorite characters are. Well, if you're new here, that is my most favorite character right there. Uh, I have, uh, oh yeah, I do still have some more Octonaut books to show. Yeah, these two next, these next two books... I definitely know these are gifts from my grandparents, and they're like, and I was hoping to show these, and I found them. Yeah, first we have the, uh, the, the Monster Map book, and it has, and, it ha and it's a Lift the Flap book. Yeah, so this one's more bigger than the others. Uh, I'm sorry I can't really flip through the books. This is, this is like a really tiny setup I have. But just, but just, uh, but just take a look at the cover. It says a, uh, says a, uh, just says lift the flap. So it's a flap book. And there's the back which shows all the characters. I don't know if I showed that in the other books. Yeah, this, oh yeah, that logo there, this one right here, it, um, every time I see that I think of a show I used to watch, it's called the Mr. Men Show. Yeah, I've, I, I used to watch the Mr. Men Show a bunch. I've got a whole bunch of stories to say about that. And see, look, this one, it actually shows a different price on there, like, very different. Like, that's not even the dollar... That's not even the dollar sign. That's, I think that's pounds, I think. And let's see, here's another book. The Great Penguin Race. And it, and it opens up like that. Yeah, this one's also more bigger. I, I have memories of the... I have memories of the Great Penguin Race episode. Yeah, see, it's like, it's like really long. But wait, there's more books. The, the Great Christmas Rescue. Yeah, these are all like more bigger ones. And see, I don't know if, yeah, there's, it's got like those, little creatures. And it's got a whole page on the Gup X. The Gup X is very cool. The glider seems very convenient for traveling, like traveling anywhere. Here's more books. Okay, I should turn the light on. Why isn't it? Oh, there we go. There's like some really cool books I want to get someday. Yeah, like I said, I wanted to get that Meet the Crew book because I bet it introduces all the characters. And look, there's you can't really see with the light in the way. Yeah, there's the Amazing Octopod. That sounds interesting. I bet you get a tour of the Octopod. And I don't, and I don't know about this, but. That's his little library. I know I have a Teletubbies little library and a Paw Patrol little library, so I should get an Octonauts little library. And look, if you look closely, this book right here, it has Shellington, and you can kind of see Dashie there. Yeah, and Shellington and Dashie are my most favorite characters. But guess what else I have? I have the original Octonaut books before they had a TV show. Like the very early books. See, I got the Octonauts and the Frownfish. 
Yeah. Look how different Dashy looked. She went through a bunch of changes. She even had her name changed. Yeah, because she wasn't always called Dashy, if you didn't know that. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, there's... Yeah, see, here's, here's the, uh, another page right here. This is, like, the front page, you know, when you open the page and it tells you the title again. And it's got this cool background here. I, I like those blue backgrounds. They made a new one for the TV show, and I thought that was really cool. I I can't show you the other side, but it's, it, you can write your name on there. And then this little creature says, I highly recommend these other delightful stories. And then here we have all the octonauts upside down because of the frown fish. And then here's another meet the characters thing. Oh yeah, barnacles used to look different too. See, see, look how di different Dash she looks. She used to wear blue. Yes, the thing here says Dashy on here, but I heard it was changed because of the TV show. She used to be called Saucy, but now she's Dashy. And also snail mail. Here is the octonauts and the sea of shades. Or the sea of shade. And here is Dashi again. And then here we have all the, uh, then here we have all the shadow octonauts. Because the story was like their shadows went missing and they went to find them and that's all their shadows. And, and these books are totally gnarly. And here's the one that started it all. The Octonauts and the Only Lonely Monster. Yeah, this was the very first Octonauts book ever. Yeah, so because this is the first Octonaut book, uh, there's not really any difference here to the little blue picture. Oh yeah, and then there's this, this sea elephant, I guess, right there. Oh, I forgot about all these cool pictures in the back. I should have shown these. See, it says, Undersea is the place to be, and we got this angry little crab. Yeah, let's let's see what the other books have. This one says some shady tea for you and me. It's got a beluga whale right there. Yeah, and this one, friends are found on a merry-go-round. Actually, did a I found a coloring page of that. That picture. I don't remember where I, I have some octonaut coloring pages, but I don't know where they went. And then there's a starfish right there. And look, all of them say, watch the octonauts on TV. I have, and on my computer. I watch a lot of shows on my computer, basically. Unfortunately, I do not have the octonauts in the Great Ghost Reef, so I don't have that one. Sorry about that. Um, and I think they made a new one called the Growing Goldfish, I think. Then there was this other one. I can't remember the title, but it wasn't the usual Octonauts and the whatever. Now I saved this book, The Best for Last, because this is my most favorite book of, of all the ones I have. The, the Octonauts Creature Report. 
I'm gonna turn the light off now. Yeah, this is my most favorite book. It says it's got more than a hundred stickers. Yeah, I got, I remember seeing that at Walmart and wanting it for a long time, and I got it. Let's see, it's got a, it's got a whale shark. Oh yeah, I never, I never wrote my name on this. See, it says, this book belongs to blank. See, it's got a whole bunch of pages of different sea creatures. It's got, yeah, yeah, it's got... You can't see it's sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone. All right, let's see what kind of page could I show you. Oh, I'll show you this one because it's got Shellington on it. Yeah, see it. Yeah, there's some of the pages. It's got so a lot of it's got a bunch of information on it. It's got quotes from the show. Yeah. There's like a globe up there, and uh, there's a there's like this little sticker. I'll have to turn the light on again. There's a sticker right there. It came with all these stickers, and I put a sticker for every page I read. Yeah, no no joke. I read every single page of this book because I really like this book. I like it so much that some of the pages actually ripped out, and I had to get them all taped. Here's some of the stickers. You can tell some of them were used. I don't remember what I did with most of these stickers, though. And we got some some stickers of the Octonauts themselves. Oh, here's the whole page I was talking about. See, there used to be a bunch of stickers there, so I put a sticker for every for every character, for every sea creature that I read about. Oh, and look at this sticker. It's got a reference to the frown fish book I was just showing you. See, it's got, see, it actually says smiley fish, angry fish, hungry fish, sleepy fish, silly fish, and frown fish. Yeah, because in the show, they're like, doesn't actually say all that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, here's some more Octonaut stickers. We got the Vegemals. Okay, I'm gonna do that joke again, but you'll never guess which one I used, but it's actually Shellington. I used Shellington. I'll just tell you that the Shellington sticker and the Sparky sticker are actually in the same place. In fact, they're actually right here, but you can't actually tell. I put the Shellington and Sparky stickers on my phone. I have a lot of stickers on my phone. Yeah, from what I can remember, I've got a, I got Shellington, I got Sparky, uh, I have uh, Sky from Paw Patrol, uh, and Webby from Ducktales, and Penny from from Top Wing, and I have two characters from the Secret Life of Pets movie, because Secret Life of Pets two. Uh, the second one was really good, so I want to have stickers of the characters, and I also have, like, a sticker of the Tubby Toast and Tubby Custard from Teletubbies. But enough about stickers, let's show off more of the collection. I've got more books here. It's the, the, uh, you can't see the title, but it's the Gup S Adventure Sticker Activity Book. With more than 50 stickers. And there's uh, some of the stickers there. You, can, you can't really see them all because, again, this, this is like a very small setup, so you can only see so much. Yeah, I, I keep meaning to do this sticker book, but I still haven't. All the stickers are still unused. And remember how in my Atomic Betty collection I said that I think I have an Octonaut sticker storybook, but I couldn't remember? Well, guess what? I do. I do have one. See, look, it says, it says sticker stories on top, so yes, I do have an Octonaut sticker storybook. 
see it's, it's it has dashi right there. Yeah. I've just now caught on that the stickers in the Octonaut sticker storybook and the stickers in the Atomic Betty sticker storybook are the same size. They're like really huge stickers. Well, that's pretty much all the books I have to show you. But we're not done yet, because I got some really good stuff here. I don't know if you can hear there's a plastic bag, because that has a bunch of some stuff. Yeah, I, I got all... The stuff you're about to see, I got these from my best birthday ever. One of my best birthdays ever. Here is an Octonauts plate. Yes, an Octonauts plate. So as you might have guessed from that, that I actually had a Octonauts themed birthday at one time. Yeah, it was a really good birthday. Yeah, this is a, uh, here's a, this is supposed to be a party hat. Unfortunately, I don't think it fits me because it won't, doesn't come with those. Yeah, I don't think it came with those stringy things, so it fell off. Oh, here's one that's put together. Oh, and it does come with the stringy thing apparently. You know that stringy thing you use to hold it on your head. Yeah, that's that's what it's supposed to look like. And then here is the. Uh, oops. Here's an Octonauts napkin. Yeah, this this napkin opens up. Let's see if I can get it open. Yeah, see it's got barnacles on one side. It has peso here, and it has tweak. And then, then the, you just saw quasi. I had I have smaller Octonaut plates, but I don't know what happened to them. I think they were in my closet, because I did see plates that looked like it could have been them, but it's not. Let's see. And here is the Octonaut's cup. I'll take one out so you can look at it. Oh, that's right. It says, it says Diao on it. Oh, that's right. I forgot Sparky was here. I'll I'll put him back since I showed all the all the books. I like putting Sparky in all my collection videos. Okay, he's just one of my most favorite characters. Oh, here's the little plates I was talking about. They were here. I thought they were in my closet. Yeah, here's the little plate. Yeah, they're smaller than the big plates because they're little plates. I don't know what I'm saying. And I even have this. Yes, this is a, um, yes, this is supposed to be like Peso's medical bag. You see, he's even on this side. And it says, a medic helps any creature. In the show, he says, a medic helps any creature who is sick or hurt. But I guess that was all they were able to put on there. This came with some stuff. Like, it came with Octonaut stickers. I, I use the Octonaut stickers, so I cannot show you them. Cause... Yeah, here's the stuff it came with. It came with this little fish. It reminds me of the... Reminds me of a word party episode I saw recently. Yeah, you should have seen the fish in word party. Oh, this thing. Oh, this is dusty and very squishy. It's, it's got a little glittery fish, clownfish thing. And then we got this. It's an Octonauts. Uh, what are these even called? Are these called party horn blowers? Well, whatever they're called, it's an Octonauts version of that. Uh, I'm not going to blow into it because, one, it's probably very dirty, and two, is that it's really early and everyone's sleeping right now. You won't believe how much Octonaut stuff I have because there is still plenty of more stuff to show you. Alright. Next thing I'm going to show you is toys. I've got several, several toys. 
I showed you DVDs, I showed you books, I showed you party supplies. Now get ready for toys. In this box, in this box contains more, more fun Octonaut stuff. Yeah, I remember getting this box. I didn't know what to do with it, but now I know what to do with it. Oh, you can kind of see the reflection of what's in there. This has... Alright, so, do you, do you remember this? And this from my computer studio? Or how about this? Or this? Yeah, yeah, these were all in my computer studio. These are called, these are called Octonaut Gup Speeders. They have like shiny wheels and they roll around. Well, I have many more. Yes, I've got a lot more. I'll start off with this one here. Yeah, this is a, yeah, this one is a inkling in the I think it's the Gup R, I think. I don't remember. This is one of the Gups that wasn't featured in the show. And, uh, what else do we have? Um, let's see. Oh, this one. This one is Tunip in the Gup X, just like in the Octonaut Very Vegemal Christmas episode. And here's Peso and the Gup E. And here's Tweak and the Gup D. And here's. And let's see. Yeah, here's Peso and the Gup D. Only that one's got the arms. Yeah, see, two Gup Ds, but I also have two barnacles in the Gup A. Yes, I have two. Yeah, this one here came with the Season 3 DVD, which I forgot to feature that in the collection here. And this one I got a, at Toys R Us. It was in a tiny box. I forgot about the boxes. They came like this, and then... They, they were like, you could move them like that. I don't know if I'm describing that very well. Yeah, here's Quasi and the Gup B. Yeah, see, I also have Shellington and the Gup B. Oh, wow, that's dusty. Yeah, except this one is like the flying fish version. This is the regular one. Yeah, here's... Here's Barnacles in the Gup S. And here's here's Dashi in the Gup F. Yeah, this, these are very these are very detailed. And here's Shellington and the Gup C. And here's Quasi in the uh I think that's the Gup O. Yeah, these these three yeah, these three Gups were never, they, they weren't featured, they were never featured in the TV show, so, so, they just have toys with them. That is, that is a lot. Alright, so, I have some more Octonaut toys to show off. I'll show you the most iconic vehicle in the show. The Gup A. And crammed inside the Gup A is all my Octonaut toys. Well, not all of them. Or, I thought it was all of them. I hope all of them are in there, because I wanted to show you all of them. Oops. Oops. Yeah, see, I have toys of all the, the uh, Octonauts. Yeah, see, here's Inkling. And his head moves. Yeah, there's Inkling there. Here's here's Tunip. I actually have two toys of Tunip. And here is here's Tweak. 
Oh, that's right, she has stuff on the back there. And here's Peso. And here's and here's Quasi. Oh yeah, and you can see the inside of the Gap A in there. It opens up. Alright, I'll just show you. See, it, it opens up. Oh no, I appear to be missing the most important octonaut of all. I can't seem to find my toy of barnacles. I'm gonna see if I can find him. Okay, that took a while, but I found him. Here's here's barnacles right here. Oh, I was afraid he went missing. You can tell he's very well used. Oh, that's right. There's only two octonuts I haven't shown. They're my favorite ones. Yeah, see? Yeah, she and Shellington. Yeah, you could tell they're definitely very well used. I remember the day I got these toys. We went to Toys R Us, and I, we went to Toys R Us, and I, and I um, and I saw all, of, all the Octonaut toys, and I got really excited. And my mom said I could pick out two of the characters, and I knew which two I wanted. Gashi and Shellington. Let's let's put all the Octonauts all together. Yeah, see, there's, yeah, there's Tunip, Shellington, Dashi, Inkling, uh, Tweak, Peso, Quasi, and Barnacles. Well, you can't see Barnacles. Uh, there we go. There's all of them. And they're Sparky back there. Yeah, let's... Let's put Shellington with Sparky right there, cause, cause they're two of the great crossover boys. And also, in my opinion, I think in real life, I think Sparky and Shellington would be close around the same size. I should really be quiet. You probably heard all that. You probably heard all that scattering noise. I, I'll show you another vehicle, the Gup B. Yes, I have a toy of the Gup B. And I'll have to agree with Quasi here that the Gup B is my favorite of the Gups because it's kind of cool. Like the teeth move, see that? Oh, that's right. These toys like are supposed to squirt water, but I don't like putting my toys in the water because I don't like that. Seems like a I don't know, I, I don't like the idea of putting toys in water. Here's the Gup C, which apparently is missing something. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, it opens up, and then this part you can, like, look through it. Alright, here's the Gup D. And it has this thing on the bottom here. Yeah, you're, yeah you're, the thing on the bottom, it comes on, you put it there. On here is the, uh, here's the big one here. Oops. Hold on, something fell out of it. Let me fix that. There we go. That is the Gup X, if you can't tell. It's not facing forward. Let me turn the light off. Yeah, that's the Gup X. It's huge. It comes with all these little slime discs, because you put it in there, and then you just press this to shoot the slime out. Okay, I guess we're... Oh no, I think it's stuck. I think I just got the slime disc stuck. Nope, there we go, it's out. Yeah, my cats like playing with these. I've, I remember how I like shoot these and they chase after them. 
And, and just like the real Gup X, it actually comes apart. Yeah, see, there's the yeah the, the glider comes out, and then there's the uh, tank part, and my favorite part, the little octo ski. There's there's a button to get the octo ski out. I can't remember, or, or you could just pull it out. Yeah, see, it's got the octo ski there. Alright, we'll, we'll just put Dashi in there for the fun of it. Octo-ski. Oops. I almost dropped the glider. Now, here's something really fun. I have a toy of the Gup F. Yeah, the Gup F. This toy you can you can decorate it in any way you want and it comes with all these little sets of things. Yes, yeah, have this bag it says Gup F parts because I didn't want to mix it up. And it comes with pieces of all the other Octonaut vehicles. See it's got the the uh, wheels of the um the Gup X and it's got it's got a and like the Gups C. Yeah, it's got a whole bunch of stuff. It also comes with this little, uh, like, idea book, but I don't know what happened to it. Well, I found the missing piece of the Gup C. There it is. And here, and there we go, the fully, the fully repaired Gup C. And somehow I forgot to show you the Gup E right here. Yeah, I also like the Gup E too. And uh, this part it comes out. And you can put and you can put um little fishes in there. There's supposed to be three fish, but I don't know what happened to all the fish. Or the one fish that went missing because it came with three fish and I only know where two of them are. Yeah, all there's also the yeah, all this, a bunch of Octonaut toys came with all these sea creatures, but I'm not gonna show you all of them, so I'll just show you some of them. My my favorite is this narwhal here. It's it's very squishy and it's got like this little bandage on it. Yeah. I have so many Octonaut things. Uh, I don't think I'll feature every toy on here. Yes, but I will show off these. These Octopod pieces. Yeah, so this this hints that I do have the uh, Octopod toy. These are, that comes with all these stickers of all the different rooms. Yeah, see. Yeah, so that's a hint that I do have the Octopod playset. Yeah, so yeah, but before I show you that, I have the uh, the Octo Max suit, and it has Quasi in there. Yeah, there's two Octomax suits, but I only own that one. And I also have um these giant barnacles here. Yeah, it's it's bigger than the regular barnacles. Yeah, this one you put in the water and it swims, I think. Yeah. Yes, this is another Shellington. I I own multiples of different Octonauts. So yeah, here's another Shellington here. He comes with the, the little helmet. Comes off, but I like leaving it on. 
Yeah, see? Now, now I got two Shellingtons. If only I had two Sparkies. Alright, this place is so huge that I couldn't fit it in my little uh, setup that I have. But here it is, the, the Octopod playset. You can see that this one's this one has all the little on the go pods. See I have barnacles there and peso. That thing's supposed to be open but it keeps closing. And here's a and here's Quasi and Shellington. And of course the Shellington on the go pod broke. And I can't remember what I did with the piece, which is too bad because it comes with his magnifying glass and I wanted to show that to you. Yeah, they, these all do different things. Let's see, I have another Shellington right here. But yeah, that's the Octopod playset there. So I have tricked you. I actually have three Shellingtons. And this one is very dusty. Yeah, I really like this one because look at the little outfit he comes with. Yeah. Uh, this I found at a thrift store, so I don't have all the pieces to it. The Gup Eye. See the Gup Eye? It's that, uh, yeah, it's that, uh, it's like that Arctic vehicle. Now I have one thing left to show. Yeah, I have, I have one thing left to show. Are you ready to see it? Are you ready to see it, half of the great crossover boys? Alright, I got it ready. Yep. Yeah, and, and just like Sparky here, this was a Christmas present. And you know what it is? It's... Hold on. The Octolab playset. Yep, the Octolab. And I have tricked you again. I have another Shellington. Uh, and it is extremely dusty. Look at, look how dusty that is. That is very dusty. What happened to that Shellington? Yeah, this is extremely dusty. Yeah, it comes with... Yeah, it comes with a... Uh, oh, that's not supposed to be there. I was wondering where that went, though. Yeah, it comes with a... Extremely dusty jellyfish. It's got the veggie bite, which comes with little fish biscuits. I don't know if you can see those. Yeah, let's see if I can get these. Yeah, see, it's got the fish biscuits with the little. Wait, these aren't fish biscuits. These are kelp cakes. What am I saying? Yeah, fish biscuits are a different thing. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Sorry about that, I was just putting that away. And that is the Octonauts collection. Not the whole thing, but the Octonauts collection. Which includes three Shellingtons. No, not three. Four Shellingtons. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to get a fifth Shellington, but that's pretty much all. I see this. Look at that. Oops. Quiet, it's 4 a.m. Yeah, let's let's fix this Shellington right here. He's all dusty. Yeah, I, I haven't really mm, I don't I can't get that off. Maybe I can use my tiny vacuum to clean him. Yes, I have a tiny vacuum. Yeah, so that is my Octonauts collection. It's one of my biggest collections that I have. But for my next collection video, I have a collection that's probably even bigger, and it's much easier to organize because it's not too far. Here is a hint to my next collection video. Yeah, so... It's Shellington and Sparky. Too bad a toy of Total Boy wasn't made, because I would have had all the great crossover boys. But yeah, that is that that is my whole Octonaut collection video. And as and as you can figure out from that hint, I'm gonna be doing a Teletubbies collection video yet. I mean soon.
what am I saying? I'm going to be doing a Teletubbies collection video soon. That's what I meant to say. But yeah, that's all for this video. That's all for this video, so... This is a great crossover, and and half of the great crossover boys saying, Thank you for watching, go have some fun, enjoy your summer, and don't let anyone stop you from being awesome. Hey, I finally got Sparky to stand on his own. Hello everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. Thank you for watching, now go have some fun.